Today our topic is emulsion. Emulsion is what? Emulsion is a biphasic liquid dosage form in which one phase is dispersed into the others in the minute global forms of other. There are two phases of emulsion. One is dispersed phase and other is continuous phase. The, now what are the types of emulsion? There are two types of emulsion. Oil in water and water in oil type of emulsion. There are two methods of preparation of emulsion. One is trituration method, dry gum method and bottle gum method. Talking about the dry gum method, wet gum method and bottle gum method. The ratio plays a very important role. In the dry gum method, what we have done, what we are doing generally, oil is triturated with the gum with a little amount of water to form a primary emulsion. Then the trituration is continued till a clicking sound is produced. And after that, the white cream is formed. Then once the primary emulsion formed, we need to add required quantity of water. So likewise, same weight gum method and the bottle gum method. Only we need to understand the what are the ratios. Now talking about the identification test of emulsion, the first is the dilution test, second is the dye test and the third is the conductivity test. The fourth one is the fluorescence test. In that way, we can identify the emulsion is stable or not. In the dilution, uh, dilution test, if the emulsion is diluted with the water, that means stable after, so it indicates oil in water type of emulsion. And if it, it becomes unstable, then it's a water in oil type of emulsion. Likewise, same with the dye test. We are using scarlet red dye. Conductivity fluorescence test. These are the tests for identification of emulsion. Now talking about the theories of emulsification, it is the most important topic. The first is the film theory, second is the viscosity theory and the third is the wet theory. Fourth one is the interstitial tension theory. In the film theory, as for the theory, we are adding emulsifying agent to form a mechanical film. It getting absorbed on the interface of liquid and after that, the stability of emulsion it indicates. This is about the film theory. The second is the viscosity theory. In the viscosity theory, rise in viscosity, there is an increase in the stability. And the, this theory cannot explain that why the milk is having considerable stability if the viscosity is less. The third is the wet theory. In this theory, the monovalent soap like sodium stearate gives oil in water type of emulsion and the dye oil, dye and soap like calcium stearate give water in oil type of emulsion. This was really explained by successful accommodation of soap molecule. So, let's read it, express about us what is the type of emulsion we are getting. In the last theory, interficial tension theory. In this theory, particularly the emulsifying agent that reduce the interficial tension between the oil and the water and means the two phases and the stable emulsion is formed. This theory could not explain the formation of type of emulsion. So, this all four theories comes under theories of emulsification. Now, talking about the points to be considered during formation of emulsion, the most important thing, the stability of active reagent is important, stability of excipient, its visual appearance, color, order, if it lost fragrance or not, its viscosity, the loss of water, if the volatile water component is there or not, the contamination of emulsifier, the particle size distribution of the dispersed phase, pH, the temperature of emulsification, the method, the rate of cooling, the texture, whether the emulsion is having stiffness, grittiness or tackiness, the texture is plays a very important role. The microbial contamination of stability, if it releases the viability of not, the phase inversion. Why these all points are important in the stability of emulsion? If the color is not there properly, if color, order, viscosity, it makes variation in that temperature and all, that emulsion becomes unstable. So this point plays a very important role in the stability of emulsion. Now talking about the most important part, that is the preservation of emulsion. In the preservation of emulsion particularly, we need to uh, we need to prevent the microbial growth and in order to prevent the microbial growth we need to incorporate antioxidant antimicrobial agent the first and most important thing the three things play a very important role cracking creaming phase inversion and a flocculation total overall four things 
the cracking means there is a separation of two phases creaming means there is a formation of thick layer at the interface of liquid the flocculation means a droplet formation phase inversion means an emulsion an oil in type of emulsion becomes water in oil type of emulsion and water in oil type of emulsion becomes oil in water type of emulsion so in order to if the question asks in your examination like write down about the preservation of emulsion the few points you need to write down the first you need to use usage of impure raw material is one of the important reason so contamination by consumer during the product so what are the precautions you have to take for preservation of emulsion use uncontaminated raw material careful cleaning of equipment use of antimicrobial agent the preservative it must be less toxic stable at it's having reasonable cost it's having acceptable color taste and odor use of antioxidant it should be non toxic and non irritant and we need to avoid all these parameters like cracking creaming flocculation phase inversion now what are the parameters actually that cause instability of emulsion the first of all if we add the emulsifying agent or the antimicrobial agent of opposite type and the product is whatever the raw material we are using that is contaminated so that brings instability to emulsion and likewise as we discussed early the stability of emulsion so likewise the stability of excipient visual appearance if we used to see the two phases are breaking naturally it's an unstable emulsion so its color odor viscosity if it lost if it loses its water content or the volatile vehicle content then if you add excessive concentration of emulsifier that will be emulsion so the particle size distribution of dispersed phase what is the ph of that particular formulation the temperature of that emulsification the method by which method like which we method or for preparing emulsion the rate of cooling the texture is the stiffness grittiness as we discussed only the microbial contamination growth we need to avoid it we need to use sterilized equipment glass press for preparing glass press and whatever the equipments what we are using that should be all sterilized free from microbial contamination we should have the release bioavailability and we need to avoid the phase inversion as we talk about oil in water type of emulsion becomes water in oil type of emulsion so in order to preserve the emulsion we need to add all these points that how any product is forming the stable emulsion what things what we have to avoid like cracking creaming phase inversion flocculation then which are the equipments we are using for emulsification a lot of mechanical stirrers we are using propeller tie mixer turbine mixtures and homogenizers and colloid mills so this is the uh, this is all about the emulsion the definition of emulsion the preservation of emulsion okay